guys, welcome back and I'm back with another easy cooking series. And last week I baked my husband's birthday cake. It was a blast. And uh, the crazy thing about it is that I use ice cream buttercream. I turn ice cream into a buttercream which I used for the icing for the cake. And yeah, it was easy, it was quick, it was fun to do. And it's just really delicious. So I will be showing to you photos and video clips of how I went through the process and I think we have to dig into it. Let's go! So my husband's birthday was on a Friday and I prepared food for lunch for our big family on a Saturday when everybody's at home and we really enjoyed it a lot. For the ingredients, it's grouped into the dry ingredients, then we have wet ingredients, and then those ingredients for the meringue, and of course the ingredients we will be using for the ice cream, buttercream, which is really interesting. Alright, first off, don't forget to preheat your oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, and in here I have damp paper towels and foil which I will line on the sides of the pan to avoid the cake from doming. Starting with the cake, here are my sifted dry ingredients and just showing the separated egg whites and egg yolks. And here is when I added the ube powder or purple yam powder. Now here is the mixture for our wet ingredients. I mix them thoroughly and I mix them together with our dry ingredients. So it should look like this. Set that aside and for our meringue, beat the egg whites and gradually put in the sugar until it forms stiff peaks. Then add it to our cake mixture one third at a time by cutting and folding it. Don't over mix and it should look like this. Beautiful, isn't it? Aloha! We're ready for baking. Our mixture into the prepared pan and that a small pan is going to be crushed into crumbs later for the design of our cake. Our pans now into the preheated oven for 35 to 45 minutes. Don't forget to do a toothpick test to make sure the cakes are cooked. Once cooked, I turn them upside down and place them on the cooling racks and let them cool completely. And then I cut the big cake into three parts. I'm sorry for the cracks, it's my first time guys. Then I wipe some milk on them to make sure that the cakes are moist. And now we're ready for our ice cream buttercream. And in here I will use the only ice cream available in my freezer, Selecta Super Thick Ube Real. That actually gave me the idea of what flavor I will bake right now. So I had it melted in room temperature, put some flour on it, and then sugar of course. You can add more sugar if you want but I'm fine with that. Then you have to stir it. It should look like this. Then we have to cook it at a very low fire because we have to avoid lumps and burns at the bottom of it. And this I would say is the most challenging part of the process because you need to keep stirring on the mixture to avoid lump formation. And as what you can see in just a few minutes, the mixture would get thicker and thicker. Just if things will go so hard, get somebody to help you out. In my case, I have my birthday boy. There he is working on the hard part of it. Now once you reach the right consistency, everything is ready. I just tried to add butter and the purple yam powder on it. And now we are ready to assemble the cake. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so for the first layer, I'll just put ample amount over ice cream buttercream and decided to put on some raisins to it as well to add some sweetness and flavor. Then that should be the second layer and uh, the same thing. I added some raisins on it and finally for the third and final layer, I just coated the entire cake with the ice cream mixture and of course that looks so good. And on the side, I sprinkle the crumbs made from the small cake earlier, which I blended and poured it all over this cake. I also decided to top it with some cheese 
and there it goes just looks so pretty and yummy and very attractive it is now i decided to put the crumbs as a second layer to the cheese and top it again with another cheese layer and raisins layer to make it just really more tempting and delicious and there it is my birthday boy really enjoyed this cake and so is the rest of the food that we prepared for his birthday on a weekend and it's just really a blast amazing day i have my niece and my nephew blowing the cake with him in there and it's just really good i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel until next time bye